YouTube makes me want to vomit. But then I realized, you know, yes, being sensitive and seeing other people even like abuse a term like empath, like abuse an idea that, hey, I'm just reflecting your emotions, man. I'm on your side, man. Like, and pay me so I can help you. I would recognize that immediately. But there have many times where I have chosen not to see that. And it has been gender related. Or there's different ways. I'm not into the labels, but I do believe that it comes down to survival. And if someone has survived a certain way by altering the truth, but their way of altering the truth is that they truly believe what they're saying, then you can't say that that person is a pathological liar. It's just the way that they perceive things, how they, they see things. But then there's pathological liars. I can pick up on that shit. But not the ones who are truly like, oh, I've got your best interests at heart. Those controllers. So being able to see that abuse of authority and like people who damn well know better, I think it does infuriate me more. Uh, I feel more like a lower pain threshold for that because it's just like, wow, you could do a single thing and you chose to do absolutely nothing. And that's hard. It's like a hard pill to swallow for somebody who's intuitive and maybe sensitive. I don't know what... I'm still listening to it because to me it's like I'm tired of just people putting adding labels and shit. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. But I do know I'm an expert on my experience. And um, I get... Yeah, I think if I know that people are going to use labels like that empath to manufacture a safe environment then I would be against it immediately I would know like and, I, and that's why I become reluctant because I started realizing that people were using that and that they were focused on that word empath why why is this a powerful thing now like presenting as a powerful thing it's so weird huh and but it is like I guess it was very new and it caught on very quickly in like the mid 2015s where embodiment and all that stuff was coming up because people had lived with parents you know the boomers they had grown up with parents and, and ancestors who numbed that stuff they were trained to numb it and put it under the rug so they did not want to display emotion they were really good at hiding it whereas like it wasn't working for the boomer children. It wasn't working so well. So people were really looking for that. Like, okay, what what is this? And the empath was like a straight... What could almost be like the cure to it, you know? It would explain something like, oh, I'm just an empath. I'm not like them, you know? Or maybe I am as a result. But, but now everybody just want to put the, every label on everything. It's silly. And it's... And how you are accepted. Ooh. I can only talk now. Advil plus acetaminophen. Ibuprofen targets pain. Acetaminophen blocks pain signals. I promise you about 10 milligrams too much. As a psychiatrist, I use this following Are You an Empath assessment that's in the Empath Survival Guide to really evaluate. A guide, bitch? As soon as you mention the guide, I'm out. Why am I going to pay for any of this? I don't trust them. I don't care. Period. So, okay, I'm just gonna stop trying to look for it. I'm really worried about the shorts. Empath. Let's see. What's a targeted individual? Targeted individual community. What is this? Jesse Smollett. <laughs> Who the hell is YouTube? Somebody at YouTube, Dave Chappelle's best friend. I swear to God. 
ya business